In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some stickers from Google Images. Now, I have a video uh, titled Print Plus Cut, and you really need to watch that before you try to cut stickers because I go over some settings that you can change so you can get a full sheet of stickers. The way that it is set up, the default settings, won't allow you to get a full page, okay? So be sure to watch that. And also in the description of that video, there is a video by Mr. Crafty Pants that shows you how to calibrate your machine. If you have a solo, um, you need to do that first. And then you can go Google, find some images, and then, um, come here to trace image don't use file place image use the trace um, here and then choose your image here and I'm going to choose this Santa hat you want to have blackout checked and add an image layer and then you can update the preview Make sure nothing on the inside has red lines. You can turn this down if you need to um, so you can see and then click OK. And now when I move this, you'll see that I have a trace around my hat. OK, first thing you want to do is make sure come over here to your layers panel and your layers might be down here. Um, if you double click on that bar that goes across here, it'll put it up here, right? You can click on this little triangle here, choose your cut layer, and make sure that that is set to print plus cut cut. Now it can be set to cut. The only issue with that is if you have a color assigned here, which you want to have so you can see your offset, uh, then it's going to print it if you have this set to cut. So just when you're doing print plus cut projects, use this cut and this print, okay? All right, so now I have the cut layer selected and I want to add an offset around my hat so that it has a white border. So I'm gonna go ahead, select the cut layer and go to path, offset path and I have it set at 100, and I think that looks pretty good. So I'll just click OK. And then that's it. That's my sticker. I can select it, come over to my position and size, and change my largest number, whether it be width or height, to 2 inches. All right. And then come to my document panel, turn on... Uh, show print margins and registration marks, okay? And there's one more thing I wanted to show you here. If I turn on uh, page color and I zoom in on this, you can see the gray behind my white border, but that's not going to matter because you're, you're cutting out of white paper. There is no gray, and your page color doesn't print. So... If you do have a page color so you can see your white, then um, don't worry about it being uh, hanging over that, okay? And then I'll control F to get back to where I need to be. And I'll put this up here in the corner. And then I can go control D to duplicate. And I can duplicate my rows and I think I'm only going to be able to get four and my columns. Okay, so I have uh, four times six. So I have 24 hats. All right. And then I can select all of them and group them. And the reason I do that is so that I can move these around all together if I need to. Now I have all this space down here. I can use this for... Um, test cuts. All right. So if I put this in the middle here, then I 
take the chance that I don't have enough room down here for a test cut and I want to do a test cut. Now I go over some other things about where you can and cannot place these images according to your print margins and registration marks in the print plus cut video. All right, so then you'll go to create and if you do not have this box checked, then that means you need to set your machine's pressure and speed. It's actually called force and speed on the machine. If you have it checked, then you'll use these settings down here, okay? And then you'll go to print plus cut, and you can read that if you want. Print, make sure your registration marks are going to print, okay? And then go to your properties. Now yours might look a little different, um, but all your information should be there. And then select your paper type. For sticker paper, I use premium presentation paper mat, and I have an Epson EcoTank 2720. Uh, it depends on your sticker paper. I This is what I used for the Cricut sticker paper. I had some old paper. Oh my gosh, it's probably mm, three years old at least. Um, probably more like four. And I had to use that one, but I could use premium paper for the StarCraft. So you just have to do some tests and see what you need set. But I'm not actually going to print, so I'm going to leave it on plain paper. And then for your quality, you want high or best, whichever um, uh, setting that you have. And then you would click OK, and then click OK again, and it's going to print. And then once it prints, this button down here is going to say, I think it says start scan. So after it prints, you're going to take your paper over to your machine, put it on your mat, um, unless you're not going to use a mat, and then you're going to position your blade on this corner of the registration mark. And then you're going to click um, scan. Okay, so right here is where you're going to position your blade right here, not at the corner of your paper, the corner of the registration mark. Okay, and then you are good to go, and you will have your 24 stickers. So it's as easy as that, guys. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the um, comments below, or you can usually find me in the 143 Vinyl Facebook group um, if you have any questions. So I'm sure I'll be doing more on stickers, uh, but for right now, I just want you to know how easy that was to do. Give it a try. Um, you know, print them on copy paper first and cut them, you know, on your machine on copy paper just to make sure that it's cutting properly, you know, and then use your sticker paper because I know that some of it isn't that cheap. So, all right. Thanks for watching.